I don't have a clue. All right, but it's got to be something to do with that government boy. We'll talk to him, find out what he knows. Fucking is. Where is she, Marston? Who? Who? My daughter, you fucking scum. Where's Bonnie? I don't know. I haven't seen her since after the fire. Why? Why? Because she hadn't been seen since yesterday afternoon. You know, I don't think... Right. Let's go get Miss McFarland back. See, this is what happens when the Federals interfere in our affair. Are you happy now? No, I ain't happy at all. And I already told you, I ain't with the government. Now you say that, John, but the only thing I know for sure is who sent you. They made me come here. They gave me no choice. That's your federal government, Mr. Johnson. They come down here dressed as cocky as the King of Diamonds, talking a lot of flannel about helping us, about spreading peace and civilization to the West, but they brought nothing but trouble and taxes. I agree with you. Wolves in sheep clothing, all of them, rob you and make you pay to have someone investigate the crime on your behalf. Come on! We need to get the tumbleweed! Why is this sorry son of a bitch so important to them? Norman Deke, Williamson, right-hand man. In other words, a glorified errand boy. Wait, Marshal! I'll be back for you! Bill's standards have slipped. Try to avoid that if we can, Marshal. I just hope you're not taking advantage of the McFarland, Marston. They saved my life. Gave me food and bed when they had no idea who I was. I owe them more than I can ever repay. That's just they've been through a lot. Well, they're both vulnerable, different ways. I wouldn't have been running in and out of a burning barn to save their horses otherwise. I know you helped, just like you helped me. You got your reasons for doing it. It's no secret why I'm here, Marshal. I told you the very first time I walked into your office. I trust you. It's just all this business with Blackwater and Williamson and the path. I don't know. Sometimes it's hard not to have doubt. I understand. I never planned to be in the lawman business neither. How is this mess supposed to turn out? Sending an outlaw to do the work of a lawman. That's madness. Ain't much difference between the two, as far as I can tell. There have to be rules, Marston. Even you must understand that. It's easy to make up rules, but they ain't much use if people don't understand why. Like my son. Hurry up, Marston. We gotta get to Bonnie. Let's go. Where you from, Marston? Lots of places, I suppose. I've been living up on a little farm in West Elizabeth for the past few years. No, I mean, what's your nationality? I'm Irish myself. You're about as Irish as I am Scottish. I am Irish, you son of a bitch. An Irishman who's never left New Austin. My father was a Scot who never stepped foot in Scotland. You gotta admire the patriotism. Perhaps you need somebody to mind you, your manners. You talk mighty big for such a little fella. You ain't a stud duck in this pond, Mr. Mail Order. Hell, Come on boy. now, boys. This ain't gonna help, Miss McFarland. Sorry, Marshal. This whole mess is starting to get to me. Oh, go oh, down, yeah. oh, God damn it! I ain't no use to you dead. Yeah. Be exchanging the prisoner for Bonnie in the middle of town. Keep your eyes open. I sincerely doubt these scum plan to play fair. Fair. Marston! 
Lead Deke into town. Make sure you keep a gun on that son of a bitch. I'm sure it's been nice for the boys to have a whore to play with. I hear those rancher girls like it in the rear. Maybe she won't want to go home. She's been fucked so good. Why don't you save some of that breath for freedom? Get these ropes off of me, boys! Where's Bonnie? I thought we had a deal. Let's get this right. hit! Bud, cover, boys! Quick, find Bonnie! Try shooting with your eyes open! It ain't me, it's someone else. Mighty generous of you, mister. Let's go! 